big shows a month. You know, you go down, we go down and film, and, and, and I go back, and, and then they would run it late on Saturday nights. Anyway, so this was right around the Christmas time one year, and I was coming back to Raleigh, and I stopped off at exit 119 on 95 in South Carolina, which is Manning, M-A-N-N-N-I-N-G, Manning, South Carolina. You know where it is? Yeah. Okay, well, it used to have this really good truck stop right there that had that low country style chicken. And, you know, it was an old style truck stop with a horseshoe bar where the truck drivers, you know, professional drivers only, and then the little booths, right? So I go in there, wild like I am now, caffeine, and it's about two in the morning. I'm just, you know, all jacked up. And I'm like, okay, I gotta get some food in my stomach here. You know, I'm sitting there watching the Dale Earnhardt. It's like Christmas time, and they got all the Christmas lights, and the Dale Earnhardt clock's got the little car going, yew, 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 like that. And I'm watching, winky, winky, winky on the Dale Earnhardt clock, and the door opens, and in walks Conway Twitty. Earl Haggard and Johnny Cash. Wow. Well, that's who it looked like when they first walked in, okay? <laughs> this is going to get worse, okay? So stay with me. To make it worse, they weren't gods, okay? Now that's the kind of thing that, you know, even if it happened here in the country store, you know, modern times, we don't care, no cool, whatever you're into. But this is like... 30 years ago in the middle of Manning, South Carolina at 2 in the morning in a truck stop. And you get that tingling feeling in the boy parts that, oh boy, something's going to happen, okay? And I'm going to have to fight or flight. I don't want to get involved, but something's going to happen. And sure enough, one of these truck drivers has to get ignorant and say something to the Conway Twitty non-specific gender variation, okay? Well, Conway Twitty said something back to the truck driver, and he was chewing on this nasty hush puppy, and he threw it and went, pow, and hit her in, in, in the side of the head. Well, Conway Twitty reached over and fucking decked him like that. I mean, popped him a good one. Out of the chair he went, and they got up there, and they grabbed these truck drivers, and they proceeded to just wail on him. And I mean, they are beating the hell out of these guys. I'm sitting there watching the Dale Earnhardt clock going, ew, 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 ew. And a little voice inside of me said, oh, we gonna get a song out of this. So, it was missing something. So, back then, I, I had, my nerves were real bad, and I was taking this medication called Ambien to help me sleep, okay? Well, the fried chicken and the ambient kind of all combined. And I said to myself, you know what this song needs is UFOs. So this is a song combining truck driving lesbians and UFOs. Anyway, this song was one of the most popular songs on the LGBTQ show on NPR in Memphis for like two years running. It's the story of Brenda. the air brakes on a big old truck, the driver pulled over and I ran up in the jump inside. You know, I know I'll never be forgetting that night when my eyes beheld the unearthly sight of an alien being sitting behind the wheel. It had one big eye, skin like clay, five pentacles waved when it went, hey! I had no clue as to the gender. With a voice just like the farmer's daughter and a purple black top like Sergeant Carter, it was a great big scary in a planetary truck driving lesbian. She smiled and said, I'm willing to bet all the places you've been, this ain't happened yet. I said, honey, you got that right, it ain't no big thing. She said, let me get this straight between us, I'm a big mother jerker from the planet Venus, down on earth to get tapes of Katie Lang. I smiled and thought, what a relief. I've been in touch with some grief and the thought of being a slave on a non male oriented planet. She was saying, Katie's our favorite. This jerk cut us off and gave her the finger. She reached out a tentacle and ripped off his back fender. That redneck boy would have tried to tease us right there on the spot. Gave it up to Jesus when he got an up bottle, not big and scary. In a planetary truck out of this man, buddy. Big window. She hung and said, I didn't mean to get rude. Let me go get a little earthly food. We pull up on the exit at a place called Darlene's Truck Stop. Myself when we hit that door, you know, I wonder if illusions have been in here before. I forgot all about it when I saw the Katie Lane tapes in the gift shop. We sat down in the nearest booth, and I'm feeling a little edgy to tell you the truth. Brenda was reading that menu upside down. She said, Give me a ball or I'll make it that. The waitress said, You won't answer that. The whole place cracked up laughing. I said, I'm gonna have to defend her. This fat guy yelled, I ain't never seen the light. He scrunned him and said, it's a Star Trek dyke and my big and scary interplanetary. Don't get her pissed off, buddy, he named Brenda. This guy named Dwayne.
ain't cut loose with a whistle, cracked in the hip with a hush puppy missile. I stood up and said, y'all are some ignorant sons of bitches. Brenda jumped up about the speed of work, and said, you want to get it all in the earthly then? Proceeded to push the young degenerous death break got buckled on her bridges. The fat guy disintegrated, she started giggling, the scrawny one levitated and hung there wiggling. Dwayne's hot dog was reduced to an itty bitty sender. I grabbed them tapes of Katie Lang, she leveled that cellar bar with a big bang. My big and scary, in a penitentiary, truck driver, lesbian bunny, named Brenda. We got back to the truck and just in case, put an energy shield all around the place, nobody would stop their darlings anymore. Just for a little bitty joke between us, she teleported the red next to the planet Venus, made them all work as clerks at the alternative bookstore. She looked at me with a tear in her eye, said, I gotta go, little earthly guy, but if you get into Venus, stop in and see me and visit. I gave her a hug and I said, Tim Boar, jumped out and slammed that semi door, here's singing poor bars will return to sender. Every now and then I look up the sky, thinking the typicals of that one big eye, wonder about them rednecks. Up there working in that bookstore. Probably wishing on the hell what Jane had to go through that hush buddy. And my big and scary and a military truck driver lesbian buddy named Brindle, Brindle, Brindle.